Jessica Ann Newham, better known by her stage name Betty Who, is an Australian singer-songwriter and musician based in New York City. She is signed to RCA Records. Early life, Jessica Ann Newham was born in Sydney, Australia, where she lived until her mid-teens. Trained since the age of four as a cellist, she moved to the United States in 2007 to attend Interlock and Center for the Arts in Michigan, whose alumni include Nora Jones, Rufus Wainwright, and Josh Groban. Newham is also self-taught on piano and guitar, and wrote her first songs at age 14, and began performing as a singer-songwriter at age 16. After high school at Frenchham in the Southern Highlands, NSW, Newham attended Berkeley College of Music in Boston. During her first semester, she met producer Peter Thomas who was also attending Berkeley. Thomas suggested pairing Newham's songwriting with a more dreamy, anthemic production style. The two began writing new material together and developed Newham's sound over the next two years. Career, as Betty Who, Newham's debut single Somebody Loves You was initially released independently as a free download and was premiered by pop music blogger and at the time official Grammy blogger Arden Wrights on November 30, 2012. Co-written by Newham and Thomas, and produced by Thomas, the song garnered immediate praise, spreading quickly online and being featured by other well-known outlets including Socialite Life, Pop On and On, and Popservations. A music video, directed by Evan Savitt, was released on January 22, 2013 and an official remix by acclaimed indie pop producer FM Attack was released on March 11, 2013. On March 8, 2014, Somebody Loves You reached number one on Billboard's Dance Club Play Songs chart. On February 13, 2015, Somebody Loves You was covered by Darren Chris and Chris Kulfer's characters in the seventh episode of Glee's sixth season called Transitioning. Equals The Movement Equals, Newhomes debut EP, The Movement, was released on April 16, 2013. An independent, free download release initially, the EP's huge success online helped lead to a large amount of major label interest, before she ultimately signed with RCA Records. It premiered on Billboard on April 9, 2013, one week prior to its official release date and continually received rave reviews from countless major blogs and magazines throughout 2013. Upon release, Idolater described the EP as a spine-tinglingly euphoric 80s pop nugget, indie pop blog All Things Go claimed she was charting new musical territory, and the famous UK outlet Pop Justice called it the best proper EP so far of 2013. Press continued to organically build throughout the year, with Elle magazine calling her your next pop obsession on August 5, 2013 and time handpicking Newham as one of 14 musical acts to watch in 2014. On September 11, 2013, Spencer Stout uploaded a YouTube video of him proposing to his boyfriend Dustin in a flash mob dance routine at a Salt Lake City, Utah Home Depot. The video, which featured Somebody Loves You became a viral hit online, and as of April 2014 garnered over 11 million views. The attention of the video coupled with the track's official iTunes release, led to the song debuting at number 44 on the overall iTunes charts as well as debuting as the number four most viral song on Spotify. Who has described her sound as, taking influences from, past music and mixing it in with the emotions I'm actually living through. We're all secretly wrecks and we're all in love and all being heartbroken. Combining those things for me has been a huge tool to get the sound I want. So far, her music has been crafted in collaboration with producer Peter Thomas. The pair operate under the motto that making something good is easy, the challenge is making it right. Who signed to RCA Records on September 15, 2013. Equal Slow Dancing and Take Me When You Go Equals, who released her second EP, Slow Dancing, on April 8, 2014, which made it to number one on the iTunes pop music charts. The first single from that album, titled Heartbreak Dream, was released on iTunes and Google Play on February 18, 2014. The song is used over the end credits of the 2015 film Pitch Perfect 2. Who has praised Katy Perry, Robin and Miley Cyrus as influences? She told Variance magazine in 2014 that they make pop that's generational. 
they're making the pop music of our generation that's going to stick around. People are going to look back and be like, oh my god, it's Robin's Body Talk album. That's one of the best pop albums of the last ten years. Who supported Katy Perry and Kylie Minogue on part of the Australia leg of the Prismatic World Tour and Kiss Me Once Tour respectively. In 2014, who made her American television debut when she performed Somebody Loves You on Watch What Happens, Live. In late August 2014, who made the announcement that her full-length debut album, Take Me When You Go, will be released on October 7, 2014. She also released the track list with the announcement. Thirteen songs, four of them being taken from her previous EPs, appeared on the album. From the album, the track, All of You, was her second number one on the U.S. dance chart, peaking at number one on February 21, 2015. Discography Equals Studio Albums Equals Notes A. Take Me When You Go did not chart in the top 100 of the Australian Albums chart, but reached number four on the Hitseekers Albums chart. Equals Extended Plays Equals The Movement, Slow Dancing, Worlds Apart. Equals Featured Artist Equals Troy Sivan's Blue Neighborhood Heaven. Awards Tours Equals Headlining Equals The Convertible Nights Tour. Equals Co Headlining Equals Kiesa Sound of a Woman Tour. Equals Opening Act Equals Katy Perry Euro Prismatic World Tour, Kylie Minogue, Kiss Me Once Tour. See also, List of Number One Dance Hits, List of Artists Who Reached Number One on the U.S. Dance Chart. References <laughs>